going to make a pendant like this one that you can see that's just round. It's got the starfish in it. It's got the acrylic skin poured, uh, the acrylic skin in the back, and then it's just covered and sealed with um, this <clears throat> Lisa Pavelka Magic Gloss. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I have taken, I've just used this uh, glass piece that would go inside this if I weren't using a starfish. I just held it up on top of my acrylic skin, trimmed around it. My acrylic skin is still backed with um, wax paper, so I've got to get that off. So I just kind of roll the edge here. It's real simple. I leave mine on the wax paper until I use them so that they don't stick together. And then we just very carefully, so as to not tear the acrylic skin or the wax paper so I don't get a little piece on it, just roll it off. It's really pretty. I've got nice and really pretty blues. Here's my pendant. I'm going to fit it in there. You can see it's a little bit big, just a tiny bit. If I were using the glass piece instead, I would have trimmed it much closer. But I like having a little bit um, of the acrylic just to lap up the edges because I don't want to end up with silver showing. So I'm just going to kind of put use a clean toothpick and push the edges down in there like that. Just kind of running it around it just so that the edges are kind of coming up the side there of the pendant. There you go. And covering it, make sure the whole bottom is covered. Now I am going to take my starfish. I love these starfish so much. They um, are real starfish. I purchased them at the, just the hobby store. It was either Michael's, I think it was Michael's. So I'm going to open up these little starfish, take out the little pad, and then pick out, it's not, I've got some bigger ones and some smaller ones. It's not a big, huge pendant, so I'm going to use one of the smaller ones and just lay it in there where I want it, like so. Isn't that so cool? I just love it. Um, I just wanted to check and make sure this starfish is a little bit arched. Just wanted, I'm holding it up to look and make sure that it's not going to stick out too far. And I'm going to make sure it's not like, I don't want it dead in the center and I don't want it just slightly off because then it looks like I tried to get it right in the middle and couldn't. So I'm going to make sure it's clearly not in the center. Just kind of put it at a good angle like that. Okay, now I've got my Lisa Pavelka Magic Gloss. This is the easiest stuff in the world to use. I'm going to pour it in the middle. Make sure that it gets onto the starfish. And I'm just going to use the um, toothpick and, and bring it out to the edge. I'm going to do this in two coats, not just one. If you do it in just one coat, one thick, thick layer, then what you're going to get is <clears throat> a layer that's going to dip in the middle, and you really don't want that. You want it to be flat all the way across, even a little, a little, you know, bubbled up. All right, make sure that it's all the way to all the edges. So you just take your toothpick and run it along the edges. Wow, that looks good. Make sure I get my starfish where I want it. I don't see any bubbles. Sometimes it's hard to tell, and sometimes you can't really tell until you put it inside the little light. And scoot this over, bring the light over here so you can see it. This is the Lisa Pavelka light. It looks just like that thing you, if you get your nails done, you put your nails in to have them cure. 
Well, that is going to cure the magic loss. So here's layer one. We're going to put it in, and it has a slight tilt to it because of the clasp here. So I'm going to put something right underneath the edge, just a clean toothpick, because I don't want the um, I don't want it the gloss running off. So I'm just going to let it sit on that. It's going to sit there for five minutes. It's going to cure. I'm going to give it one more layer and then we're going to call it done. Just took it out of the little oven. It's been there five minutes. It's not tacky at all. It's hard. So now it's ready for the second coat. So again, I'm just going to put it in the center. Take the toothpick. See that little bubble right there? Get rid of that. Take the toothpick, smooth it around all the way to all of the edges. If you don't do that, you'll end up with a, a ridge. It won't look very nice. So just pull it with your toothpick to the edge. There we go, on all the edges. Looks like we've got a little bubble there. There we go. And then once that's done, I'm going to put a little more in the center. Get rid of those bubbles. Make sure it's going all the way around. There. Isn't that pretty? Looks like I've got a couple little bubbles right there. Okay, now I'm going to, when I put it in, I'm going to lay it back <clears throat> on the toothpick. Put it in for another five minutes. So I've just taken it out of the little Lisa Pavelka oven for the second time. It's had two coats on it. Um, it's completely done. It's, it was set in there maybe five minutes each time, maybe six minutes. You don't really have to set a timer, you just check it and see if it's dry. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of a lip. You can see it's a little bit of a raised edge right here where the um, resin covers it. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Looks like a little starfish floating in the ocean. All done, ready to go.